Hello you wonderful people, how are you all doing? So I've just seen a message from one of the users in our Discord and they were searching for a skybox to use and they've said that they've seen a strange script in it. They don't really know what it is, they're worried it might be a cookie logger or something and this certainly piqued my interest. Now I know a lot of you are aware about and worried about viruses going around on studio. I've certainly talked before about being very wary of things you take from the toolbox. So I was pretty interested in this and I thought we'd take a look. So we open up our toolbox and he says, we search for the night sky box. And if we take the very first result, we see this one made by uh, Liberman 942. The description's a bit weird. It's got the title in there like 10 times. Uh, but we go and we'll insert this into our game and we get a pretty nice night skybox. Everything seems normal. But if we look inside, we can see it's actually got a script in there. It's called Darker. But if we open this up, the script looks a little bit strange. So it's got a player added event in there. And it's checking when they join if they're friends with a certain user, a friend with this ID. So I went on to the website and I can copy and paste that user ID, press enter, and then you will find this user right here called FVT ASK, right? It seems like just some kind of random generated user. Uh, they don't really have any friends or followers and it doesn't look like they've really played a game. So it just looks like some sort of weird alt account. I noticed uh, a lot of their friends kind of look like uh, temporary accounts as well. But their first friend image zero uh, takes us to this guy right here, who seems to have a hundred thousand followers, which maybe they're botted, I don't know. Uh, and he's friends with these various accounts here. So that's kind of interesting. Our script is checking if they're friends with that weird alt account user. And if they are, then it's gonna require this thing. So what are these weird requires all about? What is this? Now, you might notice it begins with a 0x for both of them. Now, a 0x normally denotes a hexadecimal character. So what we can do is we can copy this hexadecimal value. We can go to a website like this, hexadecimal converter, enter in our hex value, convert, and then we're going to get this decimal value. So this is the ID for a model that it's requiring. So if I'm on the Roblox website, a model like this, HD admin, right? You see it's got this ID right here. So if I swap that out with the ID we just found, press enter, and I'm taken to this rather curious looking free model. It's just called web and it's created by an account with a, another randomly generated username. This one again, looking pretty suspicious. And we can see they're actually friends with that user we just looked at a minute ago. So it seems to be some little network of um, temporary accounts here. But anyway, let's have a quick look at this model. So I've added it to my inventory and I can go back into studio now and have a look at it. So if I add it into my studio, I get this thing called main module over here. And if I look inside it, uh, it's not really got anything much at all. It says HTTP logger. So it's going to clone this folder that's inside of it and then it's going to parent it to workspace. So it's just going to move this folder into workspace and it's going to name it Roblox core animations. So is it for animations? Well, if we look inside, we can see we've got free fall, we've got an animation, we've got run, we've got an animation object there. So it seems like it's for animations, but it's a bit deceptive. Um, but because if we open up the jump folder, we find another folder inside it. And if I keep opening these up, extras, eventually I find another script. This is called animation handler. Well, is it for animations? If I open it up, we get this very strange looking script. It's all on one line. It starts with local B equals, and then there's this really long list of characters. And we can see the line goes on and on and on and on and on. There's a little bit of code in here, but it seems to be mostly 
these strange looking strings. Well, what's all that about? So it's probably best, first of all, to not have it all on one line like this. So what I did is I went through and I formatted it and then I got something that looked a little bit like this. Now we can actually see what's going on here. Now we've got still these very strange strings, which are a bit mysterious, but we can kind of make out it's actually code now. So what actually are all of these? Well, again, these are actually hexadecimal values. So it's got a backstrike X, uh, which tells us it's a hex value and it's separating out each of these. So we've got 68, 74, and so on. What is all this? Well, if we take all of this, we select it all, copy that over. And if we take it to a converter website like this, if I paste in my hex, we can suddenly see out comes the other end what's a very obvious link and it's going to discord.com. So if one, we could paste this back into the code and then we can kind of see we have something that looks a little bit more normal now. Although this is very suspicious, why are we using Discord? Why is it using webhooks? It's obviously going off site. So it's something going outside of Roblox. That's always very concerning if you don't know what the script is, but it's sending information somewhere else. What could that be? Well, I went through the rest of the script and I decoded the whole thing for each of these hex values. So we can reveal the mysteries because clearly it's sending all of this data over to Discord, but we don't know why or what it's for. So I'll open up my decoded version over here and we can see that these ones up here get service. They look all mysterious, don't they? Well, actually it's just HTTP service, marketplace service, and run service. Uh, then we've got this string dot sub thing going on. You might wonder what this is all about. Well, actually string dot sub just allows you to edit a string. So I'll show you an example what's happening here. This is another place I've got and it's published as a game. And what I can do is I can get marketplace service and I can get the creation date, which is exactly what that script was doing. And I can print it out to the output. So if I run this, we'll see down the output, we get this long string, which contains the year, the month, the date, and then it has this long block of time as well. Now, if you use string.sub on it, all that'll do is it will take out a portion of the string, this long thing. So we see it goes one to 10. So that means it'll take the first 10 characters of that string. And then in this case, you could save it to a new variable like this. And if you outputted that, what you would then get is you would chop all that time off. So you would just get the date neatly formatted. So that's all they're actually doing there. Nothing too suspicious or exciting. The next thing this code is doing is it's checking if we're inside studio or if it's an actual game server. Uh, so whenever you run this, it's going to query the marketplace, the, sorry, the run service, and then it can check what the status is. Uh, and then it's got this really big block of table, which is the data that's being sent. Uh, it's actually, we can see it's uh, JSON. So uh, you might see this word JSON thrown around a lot. It's essentially just a way of formatting a big table to send information, which can then be processed by lots of different programming languages and so on used a lot with APIs as well. So let's have a look through. So it's called embeds, and then it's got the author, someone called Elixium. And uh, we can see it's got an icon URL. Uh, if you're wondering what that looks like, that looks like this. Not very exciting, is it? And then it starts putting the actual data. So it takes a title, um, which is actually the name of our game. It takes the URL, which is gonna be Again, the ID of our game, uh, a color, and then the image URL. So it's gonna grab the thumbnail for our game and then fields down here. And we can see it takes how many players are currently in the game or in this server at least. It's gonna send uh, the creator, which is gonna get the creator ID. So our ID, it's gonna send that. So you get max players, uh, 
created and last updated, it's going to take those formatted dates that we just talked about. And it's also going to take the place ID and then it's got that little footer at the bottom. So that's our investigation about done. In conclusion, is this malicious? Well, not really. All it's going to do is it's going to take all this information and it's going to post it in their Discord through their webhook. So if you ever set up a Discord webhook before, Discord have plenty of information on that, allows you to create one and so on. And all that you'll then get is a little link and then you can output information in your Discord. So like we see here, there'll be something like this being posted in the user's Discord about our game. So the good news is this isn't any security risk. It's not going to steal our password. It's not going to cookie logger. It's not going to do anything like that. It's really nothing to worry about. Um, but it is going to send the information off to Discord. You might not want that. So you can feel free to delete it. As I always say, if you find a script in a free model, you don't know what it does, then go ahead and delete it. But I thought this was interesting to check out anyway. So now we know what it does, but why they've gone to such efforts to obfuscate the entire thing, I don't know. Uh, maybe Roblox censors the word Discord in the scripts, so they have to go to such lengths. But it does seem very suspicious that they'd hide it in all this fake animation stuff. I thought this was pretty interesting. Uh, if you have anything else you want me to check out or investigate, then let me know. Maybe we'll make a thing of this. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!